Hello, you are welcome to another interesting class with Mr. Emmanuel Otwada. This class promises to be so much exciting because we are learning about safety. Safety can be defined as a state when we are free from danger. Danger spots abound in the home and this danger spot causes harm or danger. Naked wire is one of such danger spots in the home which can cause electric shock which can lead to death or damage to the body. Naked wires are very 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 dangerous so we need to stay clear of them. Wet floors are also danger spots in the home. When you fall, you can hit your head hard and this can even lead to brain damage or even death. So keep all floors mopped and dry. Banana peas left on the floor is another danger spot in the home. Banana peels are very slippery and this can cause a heavy fall and also damage to the body and even lead to death so keep all banana peas in the trash carelessly placed drugs is another danger spot in the home kids can carelessly take drugs left in the home and this can lead to overdose which can damage the body or even lead to death Safety equipment. What are some of the safety equipment we can use when working either in the home or at the office or in the factory? Eye goggles. Eye goggle is a safety equipment that is used to protect the eyes from dangerous rays or objects. Gas mask. Gas mask is used when working with dangerous chemicals or foams from the chemicals so use gas mask when working with dangerous or harmful chemicals that you might inhale when working in the factory so use gas mask to protect yourself then safety boots safety boots are worn on the feet to protect the feet from sharp objects or any object that can cause harm to the feet so you get your safety boot when walking with sharp objects on the floor you see safety boot protects your feet then we also have the safety lab coat which helps to protect the skin from chemicals then we have the helmet the helmet also helps to protect the head from head damage during work so all these are safety equipment that help to protect the body and gloves also protect the hands when working in the factory or even when cooking at home if you want to lift a hot spot from the fire you can use your hand glove protect your hands from getting burnt. Fire extinguisher can also be used as a safety device to put out emergency fire, fire heartbreak. So you use your fire extinguishers to put off fire. So it's a safety device that can be used for in emergency conditions. Another alternative to fire extinguisher, we use sand bucket. It serves the same purpose. Since the sand is heavy, we sprinkle it point upon the fire it helps to put out the fire so sand bucket is used as a form of fire extinguisher now let's look at maintenance maintenance is a periodic or regular shake of our tools and machines to prevent breakdown so we check our tools and our materials to prevent them from getting totally spoiled 
and we have different types of maintenance. The types of maintenance are grouped into three types. Number one, we have the preventive maintenance, we have the predictive maintenance, and we have the corrective or breakdown maintenance. These three types of maintenance have a different purpose. So we'll look at them one after the other. Preventive maintenance. This is used to make a routine or notice the small problems and fix them before major one appears. So use preventive maintenance to check a tool or a machine and you quickly fix it before it results to a very bad problem. For example, if you have a, a deflated tire, you can easily, easily just pump it or gauge it so that it, it does not refer, re, result to total breakdown of the tire. So you do preventive maintenance to avoid your machine from getting totally broken down. So when you do preventive maintenance, it prevents the tool from totally getting spoiled and this reduces cost of buying a new one. So preventive maintenance is very good in making sure our tools don't get damaged or totally bad. Then let's look at the next type of maintenance. And this type of maintenance is a predictive maintenance. This type of maintenance determines actually when machine maintenance needs to be performed. So predictive maintenance is used to predict when the maintenance should be done. So let's look at the difference between preventive and predictive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is done to prevent the breakdown of a particular machine or a tool. So you do a preventive maintenance to prevent the breakdown of the machine. But on the other hand, predictive maintenance relies on the actual condition of the equipment. So in this case, the machine is still working, but you just want to know that this machine has been working for a long time, so I think I should service it so that it, it will break down. So you predict that, okay, I've been using this machine for about six months now, so it is time to fix it or service it so that it will not break down. So you predict that, if I don't service this machine now, it might actually break down. So it's like you are using to guess. Then let's look at the next type of maintenance, which is called the corrective or, or breakdown maintenance. Breakdown maintenance can be defined as a maintenance that is performed on equipment that has broken down or faulty or unable to use. This type of maintenance is done on sweat tools or machines. When your generator refuses to start, it has already broken down, so you have to fix it. When you have a broken fence, when your fence falls down, yes, it's already spoiled, so you have to fix it. When your tap head gets broken and water is gushing out, you need to fix it. So these are the types of maintenance that we have. I know you've learned so much and you put this knowledge into use in maintaining your tools and machines. Bye.